um, and my name is Paul Smith from Mega Limited in Dover. Um, I'd like to introduce to you the new DLRO 100, uh, 100 amp um, low resistance tester which we've just launched. This particular product has a lithium ion battery so the unit can be powered from a line supply or it can be powered from uh, an internal battery. Lithium ion battery gives us a number of advantages. The unit itself is very lightweight with the battery at 7.9 kilos. Uh, that's about 15, 16 pound I believe. Um, the unit itself, once it's on the battery power, can operate for 20 minutes in total at 100 amps. That's two lots of 10 minutes testing. So it can maintain 100 amps for 10 minutes and you can do that twice on one charge. The unit itself can actually be charged extremely fast. The other advantage of lithium ion is this thing can charge in two and a half hours. Um, if you find yourself in a situation where you haven't got a supply, you can actually do one half hour charge and that gives you enough charge to do 50 five second tests at 100 amp. The unit here has uh, a number of preset currents for convenience. There's 100 amp at the bottom here, 50 amp, 10 amp and this rather nice uh, configurable range. Over this side we have the test modes. So we have a manual, so in this mode you have to press the test button to start and the test button to stop the test. Um, in automatic, over this side, this test is looking for continuity across the terminals. When you have continuity it will start the test. Here we have some indicators to let you know when you've got continuity. Now there, here we, we can see that we have continuity in the current circuit and we have continuity in the potential circuit. If I go here, I have a test shunt here, and you can see if I disconnect this test and then apply, as soon as I make a connection, the unit automatically starts a measurement. Because I'm using a preset, and because it's on these test modes, it will do a standard five second test. So it ramps up the current, it holds it, it produces a very smooth DC output, and then it will ramp down the test so that if you are testing a circuit breaker, and it's still connected to a relay system, there's no way it will trip a circuit by a relay system.